crack it all, Gabby. I want to crack it. Gabby. It did not share. It, it held my body weight. Look, just wait. I want to show them the heart. Oh. I don't know how heavy All right, go on. Hop in. She's just chewing. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. It is cold as heck. Cold, cold, cold. Today I woke up to the funniest thing on earth, you guys. I have the funniest story on earth. You guys want to hear it? It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to smack you. I'm not a smacking woman, Penny. I'm not a smacking person. I moved my arm to open the door and she jerked back so fast you wouldn't believe it. All right, so here's the story. You guys know that Brandon, our coach, told us Sophie's not allowed to jump in for a month. She's not allowed to jump in. Sophie's really sad about it. She loves jumping fin. Who knew she'd be that, like, we have people who think that Sophie doesn't even like jumping, but Sophie is so, Sophie is so obsessed with jumping fin, and she doesn't even like jumping any other horse. And Daisy laid down. She only loves jumping fin. Daisy laid down on the bed, so I can her the last time. Yeah, so he even has lost some tears over the whole thing, but, she knows that Finn needs her to take a step back and learn some new things because she changed as a rider this year. Sophie grew so much, so fast, and we just need Finn to catch up. Finn, Finn taught me all that after Storm was done. I know, but now we need to go back for Finn's sake. We need to go back a few steps to help Finn. So in our last ride together, uh, Sophie rode a storm to practice her balance with no stirrup. And she ended up jumping him over a few cavalettis. I didn't think, I thought cavalettis were like a pool. I don't know. They I didn't, are. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that much jumping. And then in the morning, this morning, I read all the comments. And the comments were like, Brandon's going to be so mad. And then somebody said, oh, that's Brandon calling. And I was laughing and laughing. Like all these people were like thinking, because Brandon said he's going to watch the videos. But it was 7.30 in the morning. Our video just went live not that long ago. He has to get up. He has to go to work. There's no way he's going to watch the video that early. And so I'm reading these comments. And I'm laughing. Like so many people are thinking Brandon's going to be upset with me. And then wouldn't you know it, I got a text from Brandon at 7.30 in the morning. I'm like, what? How would he know? And I opened the text. And it's a screenshot. Somebody sent him a message. And it said, Sophie jumped storm yesterday. <laughs> Brandon was dying laughing. He's like, yeah, you thought you'd get away with it. I have my spies. Oh my gosh. I never laughed so hard in my life, you guys. Like, it was funny. Anyways, just so you guys know, he doesn't want Sophie jumping thin right now. She can, she's allowed to jump storm. But yeah. I have more bells on storm because it's slow. It was funny though. Like, isn't that funny? Like, it was funny. <laughs> So funny. I was laughing my head off. I was all alone in the room. Oh, <laughs> look at there. Gabby, oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. I kitty. Even uh, Ollie goes up there. <laughs> this is Gabby's favorite move. She's like a little girl with her arms out and overloves her animals and they want to run from her. Uh oh. She's not going to come. Good try. We just scared her. Oh. Here are running. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. You come in, Penny? You come in? Penny? Hey, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Here, Pen. Mm. 
Mm, that was not nice. That was not nice, Penny. That was not cool. Thank you for coming. Got to share. We're a sharing family, Penny. We're a sharing family. Are my past pretty little thing? You're a diamond. There's something I wanted to tell you guys. I have always found hearts. My whole entire life, I've always noticed hearts, seen hearts in in nature and like hearts will just pop up all the time in life i've always found that the hearts that i see have been a sign from god lots of times i'll see a heart when i'm in a really grouchy mood and i it's a reminder i i feel it's a reminder from god to be kinder and to remember to love more and i always feel as though god uses hearts to show me the way i believe that signs i believe that god sends signs to help direct you and show you the way upon your path and I believe that God uses hearts to show me the direction that he wants my life to go. And some of you guys saw in yesterday's video that Penny has a heart on her withers. She has a heart on her withers. And every time I see the heart on her withers, it reminds me again that I feel like she is heaven sent. I believe Penny was picked from God for me and that we are meant to be together right now and that we will teach each other things. I feel like God sent her to me to heal my heart from when Stella died and I feel like I'm meant to help heal her heart. Already I see us growing so much and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys that hearts are special for me and maybe some of you guys have something that you see all the time, a pattern, something that you believe God is using to help direct your path. I've colored three pictures today while my mom was reading. This is the first time I Yeah, so Sophie colored this picture today while I was reading to them. And this horse has a beautiful heart on its on its neck. And one right there, and one right there. Yeah, imagine having a horse filled with hearts. That would be so super cool. Cookie had hearts, I think. Yeah. So today, I am going to ride a penny in my English saddle. Way back when, this saddle belonged to Jasmine, and then I bought it, and then it belonged to Stella. And now... Jasmine. It did belong to Jasmine. Yes, it did. It did. I remember riding in it. And, and now it belongs to Penny. So basically, um, I'm not exactly sure that my Western saddle fits. Like, there's, I don't know how to tell. Um, and this one does seem like it fits better. So I'm going to just try her in it and see. But one thing is, is that I'm afraid to ride her in it because... I don't, I love a Western saddle better than an English saddle. I feel more confident and more secure in it. So now today's gonna be the first day that I go back to an English saddle. I love riding her. So here's hoping that I ride her okay in it. Um, the thing is with Penny is that I love her so much and I want to accomplish all the goals that I have set for us. I'm willing to even face my fears and ride her English if that's gonna be better for her while I figure out a saddle. Here she comes. She's looking at me. They're all looking at me. Oh, hello. <laughs> I say hi to her every time I come down here and I swear she just said hi back to me. Hello. You come in, Pen? You come in? So I'm not going to be able to ride her until I get back from the barn. Today is the boys' day, but I am still going to ride her, even if it's just for a short time. Girlfriends, come in. Think she's coming? taking the long way around. Oh, she's getting faster. She's excited and I'm gonna move back because she's gonna fight Gracie for me. Hello, Pen. Uh-oh, is she coming? She's coming. Don't fight, don't fight. Gracie, just move because then she doesn't fight. It's okay. Good girl. Girl. Last week I posted on Instagram that I found a product that I thought could change my life, that could change my life with Penny. We were almost to the date a year ago that we lost Stella. The day that Stella suddenly had an accident outside while we were watching a Christmas movie. It was horrifying to say the least. And today I think I found something that could help that, that could help prevent that from ever happening again. So uh, last week I posted on Instagram that there's a company called Nightwatch that has a smart halter that will alert you when your horse is in stress. Yeah, they have that now. So today, I have a smart, I have a smart halter by Nightwatch for Penny. 
Let's put it on her. Here, come here. Where are you going? She's like, I don't want no halter. <laughs> come on, Penny. Right, there it is. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. You look amazing. <laughs> She's like, go. Uh-oh, wait, I have to fix it. There you go. It is beautiful, Penny. You be looking so cute. So, basically, there's a scent there's a sensor at the top of that smart halter from Nightwatch that will alert me via my cell phone if Penny gets into distress. I know a lot of people don't like them to have a halter on in the field, but it is a breakaway and it's good for horses that are at high risk. This halter can do so many crazy things. <laughs> this halter is so amazing, it can actually alert you when your horse is in labor. I don't know if you guys saw the video on Fiona's channel, but her horse gave birth a couple of summers ago and she was at work and had no idea. She had checked her horse that morning and decided that she was far from giving birth, went to work, and two hours later, her horse had already given birth in a mud puddle in the pouring rain. The other thing I really like about that smart color is that it gets smarter as your horse wears it. It has a part that has treats so that it can toss your horse a treat. Imagine a smart collar that could give your horse treats just like the dog ones. Oh my gosh, Sophia, you have you are a genius. We need to develop that. Another thing I got at Costco were these ginormous bags of carrots. I always like to buy them when we go there. They're cheap. I put them in. So I got one for us and one for the barn. Okay, here, bring it, bring it. Oh, hi kitty. So one pack is for us, like our horses, this and one our horses. and one pack is for the barn, the, the guy who runs the barn. The reason I bought a bag of carrots for the barn is because the man who runs his barn and takes care of our horses <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> gives our horses every day apples or carrots. So he has a little knife here. You can see this is cutting section. Oh look, so he's got carrots there. And another knife. Um, he cuts them up and gives all of the horses that he takes care of a little treat every single day when he takes them out in the morning. And I think that's so amazing, so kind. And our horses literally love him. Like they cuddle up to him like he's their owner. <gasps> Never Stella seen that before. Him. Well, Stella was like that with Fiona. Finn's bonded with him more than me. Yeah, Finn is really bonded with him. So I wanted to oh. donate some. Oh. Oh, it's really slippery. No, it's if not. you're above 30, don't skate. Woohoo! It is slippery. Get one of those thingies. The red things that I had. What? That you hold on to and you can see the Oh skate. yeah, a little skate thing. So we on. got Oakley and we've got Storm. And, and oh, there's... Oakley. And Storm. There's like, look mom, I'm playing. Right. Hi. You know, I'm Oakley's like, don't look at me. <laughs> Come on, let's go get They were playing. Them. All right. So, huh. Do you guys see a trend here? The fact that Sophie and I always walk on the, on the shavings. I mean, it's, all hard. it's all hard now. But the fact that Sophie and I got to go on the search. Oh, Gabby's got to go too. I know. Uh oh. Like, I would not be standing on that piece of ice. Who knows how deep it is? I fell in. All right, let's follow Gabby. You have kind of Imagine, imagine us climbing this hill in the snow and the ice though. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh. Okay. Gabby, I think you're leading us on a merry goose chase. <laughs> I almost fell. Slid in horse poop and almost fell over that branch. Oh. This girl is old. Oh. <laughs> this reminds me of our bride on the Paso Finos through the skinny trees. If you want to be real, I think we should just stand here and wait for Gabby to bring the horses to us. Because I'm officially on the side of a cliff, walking crooked. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Never. Follow Gabby. Let that be a lesson to the world. Never follow Gabby. All right, where the heck is she going? Whoa, whoa. Gabby is a girl on a mission. Oh, we're probably going to... Sophie and I are just enjoying life and Gabby's rushing through. 
Dude, trying to get our horse as fast as possible. Before. I can't do this. Yeah, I have exercise induced asthma. The best kind of asthma you can have. Oh, I no. The, the kind of asthma that gets you out of work and exercise, but lets you live your life to the fullest. But yeah, whoa. I had asthma as a kid. Yeah, Sophie. And it wasn't fun. Yes. How do you remember? You had to. I was sick on Christmas. I was a horrible one time. <laughs> I was sick on Christmas one time. Do you remember that one? That was when you were six. That was your last you pneumonia. Can, you could still carry me, and I had to. We were playing hide and go seek in the dark, and um, you had to carry me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop that story time right in its tracks. And see where oh, Gabby's so leading us. Like, I feel like. Uh, there's no horse. Oh, there, oh, horse. Did she see one? Oh, it's Finn. Oh, it's Finn. Stop see, horse. Gabby knows where our horses are. I wonder if they've got our schedule down, Pat, and they're like, oh, it's Wednesday. We better run and hide. Huh. So you walk through all those woods and then walk through the last couple of trees. And ta-da, you're in a field. Oh, she's got Chino. Oh, I see Finn and I see Tex. Good job, Gabby. Good job, Gabby, leading us to the horses. Oh, Finn's coming. So is Tex. Finn was right there, then he followed me all the way over to Chino. Uh-oh, Finn's not coming. <laughs> Hi, Gino. Uh oh. Hey, come here. Hi, Tex. Hello. Your blanket okay? Uh oh. Mom, catch him. So, Sophie. Aww. Sophie was just. Gabby was just lunging him. So remember, is that your plan? You're gonna lunge him. Are you going to lunge that boy today? Me? Yeah. No. I think we should try it. Tex is like, I'm not staying here by myself. Tex is in front. Tex. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby's telling me they're either here or there. Gabby knows all their hiding spots. Thank goodness. She said she picked the right one because the other spot where they would have been would have been beyond that fence line over there, which would have meant walking all the way back. And then going another way. Look at Tex. Tex. <laughs> we should follow Tex. I'm going to follow Tex. I'm following Tex. I'm on a race, you guys. Whoa. Wow. How does he fit through these trees? Because Tex is going this way. Clearly, look at You can see the path. Well, there he is. You guys see him? Uh-oh. He's running for it now. Imagine Kaylee's horse has learned the trick too. Wow, this is a way faster way. Good job, Tex. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Gabby gets it from me. Gabby was running with Chino. They were flying because she was worried I was going to beat her. She just wanted to beat me. But yeah, Texas way is better. I'm going that way from now on. Here comes little Sophie. <laughs> and this, my friend, is why horses are good for you. They make you exercise even when you really don't want to. Even when it's so cold outside that you don't think you can, you still have to do it. Oh, that was fun. Oh, poked by a stick. Gabby won. Look, there's a heart. Mom, Do you guys you see it right it? here? I just remembered what I want for Christmas this year. And I'm going to tell you guys because then, because then when Sam's editing the vlog, he can see it and remember, and I'm going to forget, but I want warm winter riding gloves, not the snow ones, kind of like the ones that Gabby has, more fall, I guess. And I want riding socks. But right now, I want water. Finn kind of smells like a skunk. And it's opening on his head. He has like some dried mud behind his. It is a scab? It is a scab? Yeah. He probably got cut by something like 
You know those low tree branches? Yeah. You probably got cut by one of those. Yeah, it's a rub. It's a rub? Is it mud fever? No. What would he get? It's like a big scab from like the stuff that comes out that's not blood. That's why all the fur is together. But it's tiny baby. Take a picture. I've got some stuff we can put on it. I found my new favorite place at the barn. This is the place that I'm going to hide out when the girls are taking their time to get tacked up or untacked because the bathroom is heated, you guys. It's actually heated. I feel amazing. Gabby's gone on the hunt again for Storm because she took him a carrot. Like, I want to go crack all the ice. Sometimes it's hard to see the softer side of Gabby, but they always show up. They always show up in little things like this, how she can't give Chino a carrot without Storm getting a carrot. Even though Storm didn't ride, she still went on the long trek so that she could give him a carrot. So we are back from the barn and the girls are headed down to the grocery store because I don't know if you guys heard, but Gabby promised to buy Chino some Sour Patch Kids. The last time she bought him Sour Patch Kids, she ate them all except for two. Hey, those were mine. Oh. I just decided to give Chino some. Oh, so this time the whole bag is going to be for Chino. Uh-huh, and I'm keeping it at the barn uh -huh. so she can have them. Uh-huh, and she's keeping it at the barn. So yeah. she came home and she... She me. She came home and she sucked her dad into taking her to the grocery store. She sucked you in, you know. Well, we went straight there if you want she to didn't ask me because she knows me. So, uh, technically, I was supposed to ride my girl today, and I want to ride my girl hey. today, but I'm going to ride her tomorrow. Oh, hey. And the reason is this. Um... It's, du it's almost dusk now that when we get home and it's hard to ride her then. Like she gets kind of, she's like, she has like a sundowning thing. Like when it starts to get darker, she, she's not as receptive. She's still good and she's still fun. She's just not as receptive. And I want to work with her when she's like at her best. So I know it sounds like an excuse. It's not, I love riding her. And I'm like, I feel it in my bones. I'm like, my body is like begging me to go and take her for a ride. But I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to ride her during the day. Plus, it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. It's really cold today. So, yeah, that's my excuse. You know how you can tell how cold you are? You put your boots on the wrong feet and you can't feel it because your feet are frozen. Okay. I am loving the Night Watch halter. This is a better view of it. I'm excited to keep you guys updated on all the data that I collect about Penny with this halter. If you're dealing with something like colic, early inter intervention can really make or break the situation. I'm really grateful to have this collar. I'm super excited to get to know it and for it to get to know Penny and to access all the data about Penny that it's going to give to me. If you're interested in finding out more information about the the Nightwatch Smart Collar, then follow the link in the description and it will take you to a spot where you can find out more information. But for now, I'm going up to the house and have a bath because I'm freezing. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are